All right, in this uh, Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add audio effects to Blender. And I'm going to do it in a very simple way. And in this scene right here, I basically have uh, a camera and an airplane. It took me like a minute to make this airplane, so it's not that great. But anyway, see, the idea here is to hear the airplane approach and hear it go by but have the audio have that Doppler effect like when a car drives by it's higher pitched as it's coming towards you and then it gets lower pitched when it's moving away from you that's called the Doppler effect alright and uh, also because we will be outputting this in stereo you will hear it in your right ear both ears and then your left ear mostly all right let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you how to set this up first thing you're going to need is a sound now since this is an airplane i'm going to get a like a prop airplane sound all right i have this website opened up i'll put the link to this page in the description of this video all right I'm going to use this prop effect right here. Let me turn the audio on so you can actually listen and hear what that sounds like. Alright, so it's just the sound of a prop plane idling. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Well, apparently, I can't download in wave which is fine I'll download it in mp3 is it going to download yeah apparently just took a minute all right so that downloaded here I actually downloaded two of them weird all right uh, now i'm going to go into blender right here and i'm going to go on top side view and i'm going to go ahead and press shift s and because i have the plane selected i want to put the origin point in uh this plane so i'm going to put cursor to select it that way when i come up here and go add and speaker it will put it right there with the plane all right and then I'm just with the speaker selected I'm gonna press shift and then select the plane also and then press control P to parent the speaker to the plane <clears throat> alright now I'm gonna select the speaker and I'm gonna come over here to the music tab and I'm gonna press open and I'm gonna go find that file that I just downloaded which is right here alright now I can adjust the volume and the pitch right here but I'm just gonna leave it like it is and on distance I'm going to say how how big is my scene it's uh see this plane right here is uh, let me see how big this plane is that's about three meters so that's gonna be about 20 meters from here to here so I'm going to go ahead and select the camera, not the camera, the speaker once again. And I'm going to set the attenuation of 1, max distance, I'm going to set that to about 20. Now you, may, you will have to adjust these according to your scene. But essentially this is saying that beyond 20 uh, meters away from the camera, you won't be able to hear this plane or this speaker all right now we'll give that a whirl and see what that sounds like I'm, I'm gonna look through it through the camera see it done like it's supposed to you heard it in your right ear and then it swoops over to the left and then you hear it more in your left ear now the Doppler effect is kind of um, not as pronounced 
because the object is moving slowly it's not moving uh, fast like a plane actually would but we can actually adjust that by going here going to the audio and then changing uh, the Doppler speed right here is represents the speed of sound so I'm going to turn this down to let's say 100 that will make the Doppler effect more pronounced It's still not very pronounced because the plane is moving awfully slow. I'm going to move this down quite a bit more. See, now that sounds more like you would think it would. Now let's do one more thing here. Instead of having this 360 frames long I'm gonna have it 100 frames long so the plane is actually gonna go um, basically more than three times the speed so I'm going to grab this keyframe and move it down to 100 then go back to the beginning and now the planes gonna go by over three times faster <laughs> Now, let me click that weird sound. If we click Update Animated Cache, sometimes it takes more than a few seconds. It, it will get rid of that. Of course, now the Doppler effect is too set too low. Bring us back up to 50. You see, that sounds more realistic. A right to left sweep. And you can actually, now if you wanted to uh, render this, which I'm not going to render it, but there's, you have to do it in two steps. You want to render your frames, and then you also want to render the audio. Because if you come up here, render, and then choose audio, then it will just create an audio file. And the, you add that audio file to your video that you create from your frames in a video editor. But anyway, I think that's pretty much pretty simple. If you have any questions about how to go about this, don't forget to leave a question. I will try my best to answer it. And uh, if you're interested in the, that website with the audio files, I will put a link to it in the description of this, of this video. I guess that's it. Later, people.